This question belongs to algorithm subject and was asked in Gate CAC 2015. So the question states, an algorithm performs log n raised to the power 1 by 2 which is under root of log n find operations, n insert operations, under root of log n delete operations, and under root of log n decrease the operations on a set of data items with keys drawn from a linearly ordered set. For a delete operation, a pointer is provided to the record that must be deleted. For a decrease key operation, a pointer is provided to the record that has its key decreased. Which one of the following data structures is most suited for the algorithm to use if the goal is to achieve the best asymptotic complexity considering all operations? So we have to do find operation. How many log n under root of log n operations? We have to do delete operations. How many and under root of log n delete operations? We have to do insert. How many n insert operations? We have to do decrease key. How many under root of log n? Such that we are provided in, in case of decrease key, we are provided a pointer. And in case of uh, delete, we are also provided a pointer. For find, we do not need a pointer. For insertion, we do not need a pointer. Okay. Now, let us see how we can do this. So, these are our options that are given to us. Okay. Let us write them. Un we have unsorted array. We have min heap. We have sorted array. We have sorted doubly linked list. And what all operations are there? It's find. It's delete. It's insertion. And it's decrease key. Okay. Let us analyze each one of them one by one. So we have been given an unsorted array. Okay. So suppose you are given an unsorted array and you have to find a particular item. So how will you find it? You will find it basically by performing a linear search. Linear search will take order of n complexity. And how many find operations do we need to do? Log n. So total complexity is n into log n to the power 1 by 2. As we just need a scan. Now we have insert of delete operation. So how many deletes do we need to do? Under root of log n. So suppose we are given a pointer to this node. So we need to delete this node and shift all of them in front. But there is an optimized approach. Swap this with this. And then suppose 5 is here and 6 is here. And we need to delete 1, 10, 3, uh, 8. We need to delete 5. So swap 6 with 5 and then delete it. So it can be done in order of 1. So log n operations can be done in log n raised to the power 1 by 2, 1 into log n. Okay. All are big O. All are big O complexities. Now insertion operation. Suppose we want to insert an item. Just, then just insert at the end in order of 1 complexity. So for n insert operation, n, so total time will be order of n into 1. Decrease key. We are given the item whose key we want to decrease. So we just go with the pointer, we go to that location and perform the decrease key. So one decrease key takes order of one and log n decrease key takes log n under root of log n. Okay. Now we have a mini. So what is how mini heap will be given to us? Mini heap is given nothing just like an array only. Okay. And it is an ECBT, which is almost complete binary tree. Okay, almost complete means and all the levels will be filled and last level will be filled from left to right. Now, we need to do under root of log and find operations. So, for finding an item in mini, we just need to scan this entire array. So, complexity will be for log n operations and one operation takes order of n. Now, we have delete operation. See, in this min heap, when we want to delete an item, we just replace it with the last item and perform the heapify. So replacing takes order of 1 and heapify takes order of log n. So complexity would be order of log n for one operation and for under root of log n, it will be multiplied by n to the power 1 by 2. Now we have insert operations. So how do we insert an item in heap? So we insert at the end and similarly we apply the heapify. So heapify take log n time for one operation and we want to do n insertions. So total time is n into log n. Now we have de decrease key. So for decrease key, we first need to find that item. 
and but we are already given a pointer to that so it can be done in order of one now after decrease key also we need to do the hippy file so hippy file take log n for one item and we have log n to the power one by two decrease key operations okay now we have a sorted array sorted array means we need to make sure that it remains sorted for minimum we need to satisfy its property after every operation for unsorted array we need to satisfy for doubly linked list also and for sorted array also so for sorted array, we need to find the item. So how will we find it? We can just apply binary search. So binary search takes log n time for one operation. And we have log n to the power 1 by 2 operations. So the total, total complexity is log n to the power 3 by 2. Now we have decrease delete operations. So how many delete we do have? We have log n delete operations. So how do we delete the item? We are given a pointer. So we just go and delete the item, replace it with the last and delete it. But then we need to make sure that it remains sorted. So for sorting, it will take order of n time for one, and for n decrease key, it will take n to the power log n to the power one by two. Okay. Now we have insertion operation. So suppose we have given a sorted array. So we insert at the end. But we need to perform one pass of the insertion sort, as we need to check at which position that new item should come. Let us suppose it was one, five, ten. 17 and 21 and we added 6 then we need to check whether 6 is less than this 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 and it will take in post case order of n time the so complexity is n for one insert and for n insert it's multiplied by n now we have decrease the operations now we have under root of n decrease the operation so one decrease key will take order of one as we just have a pointer but we need to again find the actual position of that suppose it's decreased to uh, what say 23 then we need to shift it over here so it will take order of n time for one item and for we need to perform n to the power 1 by 2 decrease key operations now we have sorted doubly linked list so what is in sorted doubly linked list so it has a pointer to the previous node and to the next node like this okay and it's already sorted so how do we perform a find operation? So suppose it's sorted. So can we do binary search? No, we, we can't do binary search as we need to maintain a pointer for all the items. Thus we just do a linear search for a sorted doubly linked list. For one item it takes n and for n. Under root of log n it's multiplied by under root of log n. Now we have delete operations. Suppose we want to delete this. Then we just come over here, delete it and change the links like this. It can be done in order of 1. So order of 1 for 1 delete operation and total delete are multiplied by log n to the power 1 by 2. Now we have insert operations. So we insert at any position. Suppose we want to insert we have 5, 10, 15 and 20 and we want to insert 8. Then we find the actual position in order of n. We can find the position in order of n and then insert in that in order of 1. So insert operation, one insert takes order of n. How many insert do we have? We have n insert. So it's n into n. Now we have decrease key. So if you want to decrease a particular, we can decrease in order of 1. But then again, we need to sort the, the particular list and sorting can be done in order of log n. Sorting can be done in order of n by using that insertion algo. Same. Find the actual position and insert in order of 1. See, we can delete it in order of 1. But then we need to find the actual position in order of n, one pass. And then we can insert it at that new position in order of n. So complexity is order of n for one item and for under root of log n, it's multiplied by under root of log n. Now see, which one is the best? We need to tell overall best. Okay, so let's see. It's n square, n square, n log n. So insertion, this one is best. Okay. For decrease key, this one is best. For delete, both these are best. And for find, this one is best. Okay. You can easily see that unsorted array is best for most of the item. And even for this find, it's only log n times. It's only a n by log n times more than sorted array, the best one. So unsorted array is our answer. Option A. It's the best. I'll go for all these algorithms, for all these operations, find, delete, insert and decrease. So answer is option A, unsorted array.